Hey guys, so I don't know how this is gonna work if I'm even gonna be able to film this, but I wanna do a quick declutter of my loose eyeshadow drawer. I've got some stuff in here that really needs to be thrown away. I've got some stuff that just is really old, except <laughs> Alright guys, so I just went ahead and set this up where I did my palettes video and I just thought let's go ahead and make this official. So I'm essentially doing an eyeshadow declutter of my loose shadows and I don't have a ton because I did do a declutter fairly recently. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So this is an Ulta uh, Beauty eye Gel Bounce Eyeshadow. It does not have a color name on it, which I think is ridiculous. Um, but I think I got this in an advent calendar and I really love this shadow. I am going to try to pull this out and put this in my Z palette. You can see where I've already swatched some things today and got the glitter everywhere. But it's got this kind of like, um, it's not quite a duochrome such an awkward angle it is not it isn't quite a duochrome but it does have some shifting in it um, between this red and this beautiful gold so I think I am going to keep that I think what I'd like to do to get more use out of it is put it in a magnetic palette because I never use these singles so we will put that to the side all right, the next one is a CoverGirl eyeshadow. This is no telling how old in Swiss chocolate, so I will be throwing this away. This is probably pretty, pretty old. I mean, years old. I don't, it is dry and crusty. Ugh. Yeah, so I don't, it, it takes a lot for me to be like, eyeshadow's old, throw it out, but that is old and we are throwing that out. So this is CoverGirl cover in the color Swiss Chocolate, and it is no more. Goodbye. All right, so I got this in an Ipsy ages ago. It's City Color Cosmetics Shimmer Shadow. I have no idea if this still exists. Let me try to get this in the light. I would like to depot this as well. I tried to do that recently, and it was a mess trying to get it out of this container. I think if you're going to sell a single like this, like, why not make it magnetic? I don't understand that, but I am going to try to pull this out because um, I do have some magnetic, magnetic backings. So this is called Beach Cottage. And guys, believe me when I tell you that this is so beautiful. It's really, 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 really thick. Um, and it goes on very thick. It is, look at that. Like, it is so pretty. Like, the shimmer is not crazy intense, but it is kind of this thick, sort of almost wet formula, which makes it very interesting to work with. So I also think that it gives it really pretty definition. So I would like to keep this as well and put this in a magnetic palette. All right, another one that is very old. This is Classic Navy by CoverGirl. And when I say old, I think this is oh, 10 to 15 years old. These were some of my very first shadows when I really started to get into makeup. And this is an, a beautiful navy. Look at that. I didn't even hit pan, although I did make a dent in it. But yeah, it feels so powdery and dry and just not good quality, honestly, or either that or it's just so old. So yep, yeah, again, another CoverGirl in Classic Navy and it is going goodbye. It's going to get harder from here on out, I'm afraid. Okay, so we have a Smoky Diamond Bare Minerals. I have quite a few of these that are going to be coming your way. I am going to be throwing them away because they're very, very, very old. I don't know how old. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing 10 years, maybe. And they are loose, um, which I don't really wear a whole lot of loose pigments anymore. They still perform nice. Um, I mean, that's pretty pigmented. I doubt being a loose shadow. I mean, I don't see any mold or anything like that, but I don't know. I don't want to risk it. They've been here a long time, and I just don't want to risk that, so I'm going to be throwing this out, but this is called Smoky Diamond. Um, another one of that collection is the Cognac Diamond, and I believe this was a Bare Minerals kit that I purchased ages ago. Ooh, now this one, this one does look a little bit older and a bit more unhealthy than the other one. Although the shadow is still pigmented and performing. Mm, yeah. Am I zoomed out? Oh, no, let me zoom out a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling those. I think they're, they're past their prime. So I am going to be throwing that out. And I just, I never really used them. I mean, they're not really a shimmer. They're not really a satin. They're not really a matte. So shadows like that are difficult for me to work with. Do I have any others of those? Yes, I do. Okay, so this one came in a different set. No, it didn't, it came in the same. Okay, so this one came in the same set and it's called Flawless Diamond. Um, and I did use this one quite a lot back in the day because it was just this really pretty all over shimmer. But again, these have been here a long time. I think it's time to retire them for health's sake. Let me see if I can get some of these off so I can get some clean 
swatching space. Okay, got my little makeup eraser here so I can clean my hand a little bit in between swatches. All right, so I'm gonna grab the first one. I think this one is an older collection. Um, and this is called Stone, Wearable Stone Light. This is an older collection because I remember I bought these grays way back in the days. Um, and I remember really liking them, but yeah, they look, they look not the healthiest at this point, but I did love this. Look at this. There's my cool tone fascination even early on. It's kind of like chalk now because it's so old, so I'm going to be throwing that out. Um, but I did like that nice cold gray. Let's see what else we got here. So this is wearable stone dark. Again, I think that was part of that gray collection that I purchased. Ooh. Did I use these at all? Like, I mean, first of all, I, loose, loose shadows, they're so pigmented. Like, I don't know that you'd ever need this much. And I mean, obviously they've expired long before I could use them. I hope they're safe to swatch on my hand. I don't even know, but there you go. I'm going to be tossing that one as well. Let's see what else is part of that. This one, I think, I think, am I right in saying, no, this is an eyeshadow. I thought this might've been a blush, but it is an eyeshadow. Um, it's very, very, very pink. I remember when I got this, I think it came as part of a kit as well. And I remember thinking, I will never wear that because it is just so not natural looking. Like this, as you can see, it kind of blends into my skin because it just looks like a little bit darker, pinker, uh, bruisey -y burnt version of my skin. So I didn't use that very much. So that's called Silk Rose. Does anybody use Bare Minerals eyeshadow even anymore? Um, this one is called Wearable Stone Medium. Do they even name their shadows like this anymore? I don't even know. So this is meant to be the medium gray. God, the pigmentation is just not there anymore. Yeah, these shadows are so old. So old. So I'm throwing that out. What else we got? Okay, then we have a Vanilla Sugar. For some reason, yeah, this one also is not in its best days. Look at this. Like, all the glitter and everything is just gone from it. It's just like a dry... It looks a lot shimmery, more shimmery. I mean, it, it's it's just a dry mess. It looks a bit more shimmery on camera than in real life, but that is actually just a dry mess. So, well, we are making some progress in this drawer, I'll just tell you. All right, then we have this thing called Warmth by Bare Minerals, and I think it was meant to be their idea of a bronzer, but this looks so old. This looks so old. I don't know how old this is, but I will not be keeping this because, yeah, this is a face color, so this is a bronzer, so that's pretty old. And to go with this, this is Good Fortune, and I think this is meant to be a highlighter. It's quite all old also. Um, I was a really big time Bare Minerals fan back in the day, but look, that's pretty much just all glitter now. Like the actual highlighty, it's just glitter particles. So we are not going to be keeping those two things. Then I have these Bare Minerals and these pink lids, and I don't really know how old they are, but I think they're fairly old. This one is called Hallucinate. Ooh, that is a pretty, pretty, pretty blue. That is very pretty. My Pat McGrath blue and subliminal kills it, but it is pretty. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of these also because I, I know they're quite old. They're at least at least five years old. Um, the next one is called Euphoria. This is a pretty like pinky. I just don't love these. Does anybody love these loose loose pigments? I just don't love them. That's having a tough time even smearing out there. So I think that's pretty old. Okay, then we have happiness. Yeah, doesn't have a ton of pigmentation either. So yeah, I think those are pretty old. So I'm gonna be tossing the Bare Minerals collection. The, honestly guys, there's no telling how long I've had that stuff. I do have another Loose Bare Minerals and it's just like a really pretty um, shimmer that I just used for brow highlight and inner corner and I did get that like a year or two ago for my birthday I don't have that in this drawer I keep that in like my daily use stuff but I do have that all right so then we have here's another random thing that I got in an ipsy that I would love to be able to put in a magnetic palette this is by IBY Beauty and it's 
uh, called Midnight Sky, and I did try to take it out of this, and when I tried to take it out, or when I tried to take it out, it just turned into a big mess. Um, so I'm going to be throwing this away. It's a pretty navy, but I, I will never use it if it's in this little thing, and I cannot take it out of here. I don't understand why they do that. Why not make this magnetic? Um, so I have a couple of loose pigments that I got from an Ipsy. I am going to keep these, actually. These are by Naked Cosmetics. And these are just some loose pigments that honestly I rarely use on the eye and I use on my lip gloss all the time. So these are in the color Sierra Nevada. Is these all Sierra Nevada? Are these all called Sierra Nevada? I guess so. Numbers two, four, and five. Um, but I'm telling you, like they're so pretty mixed in. I actually had a fourth one, I believe, and I gave it to my sister. Um, but I just mix that in over a little bit of lip gloss and it just gives it this really pretty gold sheen that I think is so nice. This one is a little bit more winter when I want to little darken it up just a little bit, but it's still very, very pretty. The last one I definitely would use more in winter because it is quite a bit darker. Um, but look how pretty this bronze is. Like, if, I mean, obviously it'd be pretty on the eyes as well, but to mix with a lip gloss, if you just want to darken up a lip gloss, I love that. So I will keep these, but they're less for eyeshadow and more for mixing in and making some lip gloss really pop, but I do like them. All right, then I have this random bronze nude L'Oreal. Guys, this is 20 years old. I'm not even going to swatch this because I know that it's so old. It's disturbing and it looks disturbing. So that's pretty gross. <laughs> So we're going to get rid of that. Don't even know if they make that anymore. Um, okay, and then I have a Suva Gold Eyeliner that I've literally worn once. You wet it, you use it. It's pretty pigmented, um, but I don't use it that often. But I will keep it around just in case. In case the desire strikes me, you know how that goes. All right, so then we have a Tarte. Uh, this is in the color Martini, and this is a chrome paint. It is actually really, really, really pretty. And it's one of those situations where I know I'll never use it because it's not in my my Z palette or magne my magnetic palette. Like, I have to go through the thing, unscrew it, get it out. But it's a shame because it is very, very, very pretty. Ooh, it's so nice. Look at that shine. So that is a shame. Um, but if I could remind myself that it's in there and occasionally be like, oh, you should pull out that tart. I don't know. I can try to do that. It's glass packaging as well. And it's really heavy and it's really nice. It's just a shame that I can't do something else with it. All right. Then I have some ColourPop singles that I wanted to talk about because I feel the exact same way about these. So the first one is a Super Sock Shadow in Party of Five. I got this in a mystery bag, and I actually really like this color. I really like this formula. This one is a bit drier than some of their other, other Super Sock, goodness, Super Shock Shadows. It's a bit drier. So because of that, I tend to not pull for it, but it is this pretty sort of rosy um, color. But to go along with this, I also have this individual from the Disney Princess Collection, and this is Be Our Guest, Super Sock Shadow in Satin. Um, this one, by the way, the one that I just showed you is called an Ultra Glitter. This one is called a Satin. These colors are very, very, very similar, but I prefer the wetness of this formula. Um, so you can see like the undertones are similar, but one is a glittery finish, one is a satiny finish. Um, I really love those a lot. Again, those would go nice together. If I could just remember they're here, then I could use them, but I do forget, but I'm going to keep them for that reason. The next one is, so this is love. This is an ultra metallic from that same collection. Um, I have hit pan as you can see, and to be perfectly honest, I think this is a lovely, lovely, lovely shadow, but it takes quite a bit of work just to build it up. I don't know why that is because it is very highly pigmented. I don't know if it's because it's drier or what, but as you can see, like I really had to dig into there um, to get that payout. So, you know, you have to dig into it a little bit. It is a bit drier than some of the other super, super shocks. Age could also be an issue here because I got these, I think these are from 2017, maybe 2018, but either way, they're getting a bit up there in age. Let me know if that's just super not safe, but I think it's okay. They don't look like they have any mold or anything. Then we have another ultra glitter in the color almost there. Um, the glitter shades, like the first one that I showed you, they're not my favorite just because I find they're very, very, very dry. Like it looks, it looks nice and wet and pigmented on my finger, but you can see like it's actually very dry in the pan, but it is very pigmented. Ooh, that's gorgeous. So I will try to keep that. I really like that a lot. Again, if I could just remember that it's here. 
get some, uh, need to get the old makeup eraser out because I'm getting covered. Some of these super soft shadows are, are really hard to get off as well, and they also leave so much glitter, and I don't prefer that. Another reason why I just do not go crazy buying ColourPop, just because if there's any glitter at all, it sticks around forever, and some of their, their palettes do get a little bit glitter heavy. All right, so the next one is A Whole New World, and this is also an ultra glitter. That one made a bit of a mess. So here we have this beautiful purple. I love this color so much and I wish it performed as beautifully as it looks in the pan. But it is that ultra glitter, so it's very dry. You can already see that breaking up. I do try to use these as wet as often as I can. Now my hand is wet right now where I had the wet makeup eraser on it. So it looks like super, super pigmented there. It's really hard for me to get that on the eyes. And it's a shame because I love this. I need, you know what I need to do? I need to start making these a one and done. And just saying, you know what, when I, when I reach for these, going to be a one and done blend a little bit of transition into the crease and just pop these on or at least do a halo or something because I really would like to use those more all right so next I have a couple of liquid not very many I have four but let's see what I got so the first one is model co and eyelights in the color saint Bart's. I think this recently came from an allure beauty box I haven't used it one time Another thing, like if I have to reach in this drawer, like I just have so many palettes, like I never reach for this stuff. I don't love liquid eyeshadow, it's fine. Like that is obviously a beautiful color. It would be beautiful in the inner corner or something like that. So maybe that's how I need to use it. It's this gorgeous rose gold. It's very pretty. I just haven't reached for it. Next one is Layartsy Cosmetics Liquid Beam. And this is in the color Topaz. I also think this came from an Allure Beauty Box. Now this is a little bit more gold than the rose gold, although I do, I love that sheen. I really love that sheen. That'd be gorgeous as an inner corner highlight. Again, maybe I need to just view that as a one and done something. Give me some tips, like how can I incorporate these and reach for these and not waste these? Cause I feel like I waste them so much. All right, the next one is also by Eye Lights, just like this model and co. Um, and it is in the color granite. Now I can already tell you just by looking at this, I freaking love this dark color, but how I'm going to use it in a liquid form, I don't know. Cause that quite honestly scares me. And it is every bit as pigmented as you would think. Um, I guess it'd be gorgeous on the lower lash line. That's just, that's really pigmented. And because it's wet, it means that you're going to have to be really careful when you blend that out. I, I do think it has a, oh, so pretty, but where is the best place to use it? I mean, I could definitely put that all over my eye, but it would be a real dark, sultry look. So I just need to learn how to incorporate these so that I will use them. All right. The next thing is this Josephine Meet Leona is the color and this I think also came in a lower beauty box, though I wouldn't swear to it for any of these because I never reached them, reach for them. I, I don't, I think it did. Um, it's hard for me to remember where I came from. Does this not look like House Beauty Labs packaging? Kind of similar. Um, all right, so this is a bronzy like shade. Now I know why I wouldn't reach for this because this is not my shade. Um, it's pretty, but I'm not. I'm just, I'm so fair skinned. I'm just not going to reach for a bronze very often. I realize that's really close to the camera and I am sorry about that, but it is very, very, very pretty and very, very, very wet and very, very, very pigmented. So again, these, I'm going to throw away the box that that came in, but these liquids, I, I need to incorporate them. What is the best way? Because they're very pretty. Um, should I see them as a, a one and done shade? Should I see them as lower lash line and maybe inner corner highlights only? Like, please let me know in the comments down below how you use liquid shadows and how you use them well and often so that you can get use out of them. Cause I, I hate to waste them. Um, okay. So almost done with this drawer. This will be a quick declutter. I've got some pencils that I want to look at here. All right, so the first thing is a Maybelline Unstoppable Pewter Eyeliner. I used this for a Halloween costume to gray out my eyes, and it is a nice smoky gray liner. So that's why I kept that, because it really did nice in the waterline, and it's it's not a bad eyeliner. I don't wear eyeliner a lot. I really do not. Um, but that one is a nice one. I'm not quite ready to throw that out. All right, so then we have a Color Girl Perfect Point Plus Eye Pencil in Black Onyx. This is very old and this definitely needs to be, this, it's even empty. Um, but I did like these back in the day. I'm throwing that out. I don't even know why that's in that drawer. And I've got one, two, 
three of them. I have three of those pencils. That's how much I love that. And they're all really old, so I am throwing that out. Um, and I actually have another one of those Maybelline pewter, so I really need to get to wearing those. All right, then we have, these are not my only eyeliners, by the way. I have actually, I keep a mug, um, a Cinderella mug on my vanity for eyeliners. These just hadn't made it in there, and though I don't know why, they'll be going in there today. So these are not my only eyeliners. Okay, so then I do have two shadow crayons by Tristique. Um, I think these came in a FabFitFun last year, maybe. And again, I know I'm covered in glitter. I'm sorry about that. So that is really pretty. That would be gorgeous for inner corner. Um, it is kind of wet. It's kind of a wet crayon. This one is in Kona Coffee. So I imagine it's going to be the darker. Yeah, much darker. That one scares me. I, I would only want to use that, even though it says it's a shadow. I would probably only use that as a liner or to line with because that is quite dark. Um, so again, comments, tips, whatever you got to keep me to use these because I really do want to use them. All right, so the last thing that I have in here. So I do have two other things in here and I will be keeping both of them even though they're over 20 years old. And that is part of my very first makeup collection. My very first makeup collection was an Alexis Vogel. Um, if you do not know who she is, she used to be a makeup artist for Paula Abdul and Pamela Anderson in the 90s and 2000s when everybody was wearing a very smoky look. And I saw the infomercial and I purchased it. I was 16 years old and they are, I think, I think I was 16 or 17, I don't remember, but it was 200 to $250. It took all my savings and I loved them. So I will be keeping these. I will not be wearing these because they're way too old. I have more pieces of this collection elsewhere, but these are the two that are in this drawer. Um, I may be doing a decluttering of some of my other makeup drawers, but I just wanted to show them because they mean a heck of a lot to me because I've had them so long. So that is so old. Like the pigment in this is maybe it'll be safe for swatching, but it's still beautiful. Look at that. I, I just loved that. I used to brush it all along the, uh, all along the lid and I thought it was so pretty. This one is called, what is this one called? Sparkle Dust and this one is in Masquerade. I think Alexis has passed. Um, I think you'd have to double, oh, that's a mess. That's a mess I made. Oh my goodness. That is a mess. Again, I'm keeping these just for posterity. I might see if I can depot that, but yeah, that used to be so crazy pigmented and just gorgeous. And unfortunately, it's died a slow death. But it got a lot of use. So those are going back in the drawer just for sentimental sake. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I have other drawers that I'm seriously thinking about doing a nice little declutter with. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys because I would love, honestly, some tips or, or whatever you got to how to incorporate some of these loose shadows back in because I just don't use them enough and I really should. All right, guys, that's it for me, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.